In this video we're going to take a preliminary look at functions and actually we're going to spend the next several videos examining functions because they really are the key to understanding JavaScript. And so we've got our JS file open here in Notepad as well as our web page .html that we've been working on. So let's flip back to our JavaScript file. And as I said, functions really are an important part of JavaScript along with variables. They form the basic blocks of JavaScript. Now functions are simply a set of statements that we group together that perform a particular task or function. And really it's a way of organizing your JavaScript code. You wouldn't want to have hundreds of statements all over the place because it would become unreadable. Functions are not only a way to organize your code, but also reuse your code over and over again. Because it makes sense that if you do one particular function on one part of your web page, you may need to use that function over and over again. So that's really what it's all about, reusing your code. And so you can put one statement in a function or multiple statements. And in this video, we're just going to do a very simple function to get us started. Now, to identify a function, we simply type in the JavaScript keyword function, and that identifies it as a function to JavaScript. So let's do that. And then you can name the function whatever you want. So that's similar to a variable. You can call it whatever you want. Now, like a variable, I recommend that you name it something relevant. In other words, whatever that function does. So we're simply going to call this function say something. Now I should point out that the naming convention for functions is very similar to variables. You can pretty much use any naming convention you want, but you cannot put numbers in front of the function. So if we put an 88 in front of this, it will not work, and you can see the IntelliSense turns our name to red. That will not work. So that's really the main caveat about naming functions. So let's get rid of that 88. Now after the name, we need an opening and closing parenthesis, and this is where we pass data into our function. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. But for now, we're just going to leave this empty. But again, if we want to pass data into our function, we use the parenthesis. And again, we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, so after the parenthesis, we need curly braces. And this is where everything gets going in terms of the function. All of the statements that we create will go inside these curly braces. And so let's put a comment in there. All statements go inside curly braces. Okay, now let's create a statement for this function. And we're just going to do a simple alert. And we need our parenthesis. And then we're just going to send a string. And we'll say this is a function. Nice, short, sweet, and simple. And then, of course, as always, we need to close the statement out with a semicolon. Now the key point here in what differentiates a function from just a normal statement is that the function by itself will do nothing. We actually have to call this function in order for it to run. So again, if we don't call this, nothing happens on our web page. So in order to call this, we simply have to go outside the function and type in the function name. And we just put in parenthesis here, semicolon, and let's save this. And let's go over to our web page. And let's run this. And there we get the alert, this is a function. Now I will say JavaScript is all about tying functions to events. We will get to events much later on, but at a basic level, that's what you're doing in JavaScript. You're tying a function to a particular event. So it could be a mouse click, it could be a keyboard stroke, it could be playing a video on a website. Anything and everything is open game to make your site interactive. So as I said, that's really the key, the basic key to understanding JavaScript. You're simply tying functions to events. And as I said, we will get to that much later on. But I just wanted to make that point early on. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about these parentheses and passing data through here. So I will see you guys in the next video.